Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film an unboxing video for you guys. Um, both of my subscriptions came in today, the BoxyCharm and Ipsy Bag. I was quite surprised because I never get my subscriptions this early, so I thought I would take advantage. I usually get them on the last week of the month, like couple days before the next month and please excuse my appearance and if i'm sounding a little like meh you know i haven't really been feeling that great for the past couple of days so please be patient with me i had so many looks planned for this month but uh i'm trying my best i promise thank you okay so i'm going to try this a little differently um I'm just going to show you what each subscription has and then at the end of the video I will try all of the products and kind of give you like a first impressions. Let's do Ipsy first. Okay, so um, the first two items that were not even in the bag but in the packaging are these two. Uh, I guess they're, yes, sheet masks by Pure Lease. Um, this one is green tea and ginger. It says rejuvenating sheet mask for mo moisturizing and uh, detoxifying. So that's good. And this one is uh, coconut and rice and it's for moisturizing and soothing. Um, that's great. I love sheet masks. I have like a whole drawer full of them from all of my subscriptions and they're so relaxing. I never tried a sheet mask until I got one in one of my subscriptions and I've been hooked ever since. So this should be great. All right, now we'll dive into the bag. It is so pretty. The first thing I think of when I see this bag is Cinderella. Just hands down, Cinderella. Like it's, this is her, her dress. They made this out of her dress. All right, the first item is this big tube. And it says, Promise Organic Nourishing Coconut Milk Daily Facial Scrub with Sugar and Walnut. That is super interesting. I got their um, facial lotion, uh, a couple of Ipsy bags back. I think it was like their September Ipsy bag or something, but yeah, it's, uh, let's see, it's paraben-free, super natural, is what it says. Um, and, and it contains organic ingredients. Awesome. This will be great, especially for the winter time when my face is so dry. It's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Especially around the nose area, for me, like, blowing my nose all day. <sighs> so I will save this for later. <sighs> The next item in the bag is this Smashbox Always On Gel Eyeliner. Awesome. And it's in the color Fishnet. Oh, it's just black. <laughs> but that's a cool name. Yes. Okay, so it looks really creamy. So I'm excited to try that out. And then I, oh, it just slipped out of whatever oh. <laughs> slipped out so this is um pixie by petra a mesmerizing mineral duo in orchid ornament so this is a mini <laughs> eyeshadow duo it's so cute let's just quickly wow these are soft these are so soft that's pretty cool really pigmented too. The next item, and I think the last item in the bag, yes, is it's this Ofra long lasting liquid lipstick and I guess Ipsy collabed with them because it says Ipsy unzipped. And then it says use code Ipsy30 for 30% off. They have it right on the tube. <laughs> But that's cool. I love getting liquid lipsticks. Oh, that's nice. I love Ofra 
uh, liquid lipsticks. So I'm excited to try that out. So that's all that was in the bag. Let's move on to BoxyCharm. Uh, so the theme is glitz and glam. The first item is this crown brush. I love getting brushes and I love the brand Crown. I think I've gotten one other brush from them. Not sure, but wow, this is so soft. Wow, oh yeah, oh yeah, I like it. All right, next item is this big box. And it's from Real Her, it says, be fearless, be limitless, and it's a blush kit. That is awesome. Let's open it together. Oh, those are pretty. Uh, let me see if I can swatch them. That's the three right there. You can barely see this one, but it's pretty. Even though this one has like huge glitter pieces in it, I don't think it, I think it just brushes off. But we'll, we'll find out later when I use these. And the next item is this Tartiest Tart Mascara. Let's see. Oh, it's a vegan mascara. Hmm. It grabs and coats even the tiniest lashes for 2,700% more volume. That is specific. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, I will be looking forward to increasing my lashes 2,700%. And... The last item in the box is this Bella Pierre Cosmetics Pro Concealer Palette. Oh, okay. I always wanted to try color collect uh, collecting. <laughs> color collecting. <laughs> I always wanted to try color correcting and now I can. That is awesome. These are actually really soft. I was worried that they would be super stiff. I don't know, do you swatch these? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <sighs> so now, is that everything? Oh, there is one more item in the box. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> There's one more item in the box, and it is this lip gloss. I don't know. It's from the brand Pretty Vulgar. Uh, it's called My Lips Are Sealed Lightweight Liquid Lipstick. A highly pigmented liquid lipstick that provides a radiant metallic finish, nice comfort, creamy texture, and a citrus cordial flavor. Yeah, it definitely smells like a, like an orange or citrusy sorbet. That's interesting. Let's swatch it right here. Oh, that's pretty. That would be a really good eyeshadow, like a liquid eyeshadow. <laughs> I don't know how it'll look like uh, on my lips, like for my skin tone, but we will find that out as well. All right, so this is the tryout portion of this unboxing, or these unboxings. Uh, so I'm going to start off by doing my eyes as usual, because I'm not sure if these have fallout or not. There's only two colors, but that's okay. I'm just going to take a tiny brush and dip into the light color and apply that to my inner corner and brow bone and I'm going to apply this all over the lid as well I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush and dip into the brown and work that into the outer corner and a little bit in my crease as well that is so pigmented, oh my gosh. I really like these eyeshadows. Uh, I'm going to dip my finger in to the light color and concentrate that right on the center. I'm going to take a little bit more of that light color and on the inner third of the lower lash line, I'm just gonna drag champagne color 
And then going in with the brown. Going to use that for the other two thirds of the bottom lash line. Now I'm going to use the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner. I'm just going to use this on the waterline and tight line with it as well. I'm going to take a tiny angled brush and take some of that liner and just smudge it on the edge of the lash line. This is a very creamy eyeliner, so it's really easy to do with this. Now I'm going to try out this Tartiest uh, Mascara, which claims to volumize by 2700%. I just love that. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> They weren't kidding. Oh my gosh. I only had to dip the wand in once for both my top and bottom lashes. And look at this. Look at the difference. This is crazy. Um, I don't know if it's exactly 2700%, but dang, it made quite a difference. The color correcting palette. Let's use that. So I believe um, the red, orange is for like dark circles, um, green is for redness, and purple is for lightening up the face. Okay, this is how my sister used to do her makeup when she was little, okay? This is so weird. <laughs> she used to do this and much worse to my Barbies. That's right, I'm talking about you. Let me just go ahead and put on some foundation and then I will be right back. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it because it's so different from my neck. <sighs> um, in person, I don't know. In person, it's not that different, but on camera, it's like two totally different skin tones. I'm going to use a banana powder to see if that helps. I think this is helping a little bit more because my skin has a lot more yellow in it than like red. So yeah. I think I just went too heavy-handed on the red color corrector. So, yeah. What Tampa? I usually drag it down my neck anyways, but whatever. I'm not going anywhere today, so. <laughs> um, overall, not bad. I need to practice with it a little bit more because I never color correct. But I am glad that we got this because I was about to buy one. So I got one in my box. Uh, I'm going to use this blush brush and the Real Her blush kit. And I don't know. I usually just mix all the blushes together, but let's go in with Unstoppable first, which is this last one. I feel like that will match. Oh wow. That's a lot of pigment. It's not bad for blush. This um, brush is not bad for blush. Ugh, try saying that 10 times. Um, <laughs> I still prefer like a stippling brush <laughs> for blush. Oh my gosh, it's like Dr. Seuss. Um, but yeah, definitely not bad. Definitely not bad. And this blush is really pretty. I actually really like it. Uh, it's a very neutral blush. <laughs> But I'm just going to mix all three now. Just to just to see. Add a little bit more rosiness to the cheeks. These are great. I actually really like this. I don't like the glitter chunks though in that pink one. But oh they're kind of they're they're blending off. If you blend them long enough, <laughs> the glitter chunks in the pink one blends off. So that's nice. You know, I'm going to use 
this light champagne shadow for highlight and see how it looks. I'm curious. Okay, I actually really like this. It's not bad. It's a really pretty color. Now, all we have left are these two lip products. First, I want to try out this pretty vulgar liquid lipstick. This metallic. It is pretty frosty. <laughs> and I don't know, there's like a pink tinge to it and there's also a beige tinge champagne tinge is it's pretty cool i, I kind of like this i don't know let's see yeah it's definitely not transfer proof and it doesn't claim to be transfer proof so i don't know i kind of like this color now the more i wear it the more it grows on me so i like it I like it. It's, pr it's pretty color. It's a pretty color. All right. And one more product is this Ofra liquid lipstick. I guess the color is called uh, Ipsy Unzipped. There's no other name. I love the formula on these Ofra liquid lipsticks. They're so nice. Let me just add a little bit of the Pretty Vulgar in the middle. Let me just see what this looks like. So those were all the products in my Ipsy bag and BoxyCharm this month. Um, I enjoyed all of the products, to be honest. I'm so surprised. I saw a few of the sneak peeks and for both subscriptions and i was not looking forward to them to be quite honest but now that i've tried them out i i love it like this eyeshadow duo i saw this um as a sneak peek for my like on my ipsy.com or whatever you know my account so yeah i saw this duo and i was just not excited at all but these eyeshadows are amazing i love this I mean, I just used these two eyeshadows to create this eye look. That's all I needed. Of all the products that I've tried out so far, my favorites have definitely been the, of course, the Ofra liquid lipstick, the Tartiest mascara. This is freaking amazing. I love this. I'm so glad um, that it's full size too. Like crazy, crazy, <sighs> boxy charm. Um, I love. This eyeshadow duo by Pixie, it's really nice. The Smashbox eyeliner, oh my gosh, I'm gonna end up naming everything, I'm re I really am. I, I literally love everything, I'm so, so happy. I'm so happy. It's like Christmas came early for me. <sighs> Thank you so much to Ipsy and BoxyCharm for selecting such amazing products. Uh, I'm really impressed about this month as I am all the months, because let's be real, these, they're both amazing, they're both amazing. Hopefully I didn't jinx myself about next month, oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's it for my unboxings for Ipsy Bag and BoxyCharm, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!